gosh, this is just so frustrating. I don't understand what Dr. Who taught today. Something about unionized workers? I don't know. Okay, so I have to learn about passive diffusion? What is this? How am I gonna do this? Oh, I know, maybe I'll email the Rookie Ninja and ask him. There are three main factors when determining passive diffusion. Number one, have the ability to diffuse or the drug must be soluble. Number two, permeability. There must be a concentration difference. Number three, circumstances. Hey, drug two, how are you today? Hello, drug one. I'm doing great yourself. I'm okay. Oh. Come on, don't be passive about your feelings. Let it out. You know well, what I mean? I mean, I just don't like how we're so crowded on this side of the by layer. It just it. sucks. It's just, it's just too high of concentration. I hate it too. Well, I think we're soluble enough to pass, though. Even though you can't fit. I mean, do you really think you're permeable enough? I mean, Let's try it out. The three factors of permeability are Number one, size. Number two, partition. And number three, thickness. I think I'm permeable enough. Ugh. Wow! I love it on this side. It's just so much low concentration. I want to come too. Come! Woo! I saw you coming, Dread Particle 2. There's no concentration gradient anymore. I can't! Oh crap, carrier, carrier media transport, what is this? I wish I had some help. Maybe I'll take a break and... Oh, Facebook! Oh, ha ha ha, that was a funny video on YouTube. Maybe I can look up carrier media transport. Seriously, you can find anything on YouTube. Oh, Rookie Ninja teaches carrier media transport. The determinants of a carrier media transport are Number one, the ability to bind. Once again, the drug has to be suitable and permeable. A lock for the key, if you will. A lock for the key, if you will. Number two, a diffusion mechanism. And number three, a facilitator requiring some form of energy. I can't move on this side again. There's too many of us. There's five of us. You and I both know what we're going to do. Just get on the other side. Uh, uh, uh. Why can't I go through it? In order for a drug to move across intestinal mucosa, the drug must be number one, a membrane carrier of sorts, and number two, energy. Remember, passive diffusion is determined by three factors. The drug solubility, permeability, and surface area. Remember, carrier-mediated transport is determined by the drug solubility, permeability through a membrane carrier and with the use of energy. You wrote, I love you. I love you too. I see this very